like, this is the one they sell for 5000 I was like, what? Like, give, me, give me that back. I'm like, oh, God. All right, we're about to have one of my favorite people on the planet walk in right now. What's good? What's going on? Man, you know I can't yeah, come yeah. to Dallas, man, without stopping to do. <laughs> Been waiting on y'all. This is the king of Memphis, super producer, DJ, rapper of 36 Mafia, DJ Paul. What's up? What's happening? Right, yeah. He's in here, he's gonna Dallas, cop a few. I'm in here, man. Gonna cop a few things, we're gonna see what he likes, gonna ask him a few questions, and kind of shop around. I know he's out late last night. You're at 5 a.m., right? Yeah. <laughs> till 5 a.m. I don't think I went to bed till 9 a.m. <laughs> well, let's take a look around. Um, is there anything specific that you're looking for? Any style? Nah, well, I'm gonna start off with my the latest version of my my hometown boys, Memphis, Tennessee, Valabasas, man. This is my boy Jordan right here. How you doing? Okay. He's gonna walk around with you and help you with everything that you need. You wanna start with shoes, clothes? Valabasas, Valabasas Jake. Valabasas, 32, 34? 36, 36. 36. Okay. Playing on the inside of these. I, got a I don't even know which, which direction to put these on. <laughs> right, right, it's a little reverse. Yeah, they, get, they, they yeah. reverse and put the tops on the bottom. No, I like that for sure, we'll do. Cool. What's this? Got a little print on the inside, patch on the front. Definitely these. Cool. Hippie, hippie vibes. Right. These are I got uh, the matching jacket for this one, too. All three of these. Cool. What's up with these LA hats? What what is this? Who is this? Uh, so my boy uh, Chris Leverage and Kevin, it's their brand out in Los Angeles, and so they have these these right here, and then also they'll take like two teams from one city and they'll merge the logos together. So you have San Diego and the A's, and then let, other let me teams. get the LA and boom boom. All right, gosh. All three of these. Uh, yeah, these three right here. This is the jacket that goes with the far right with these right here. So see how it matches oh, on it, like yeah. a full fit? Yeah, let me get that. You wear full oh. fits? Uh, not, I'm, not all the time, but I will. Right. Certain occasions? I will, uh, let me get a large. Large? Or extra large. Cool. So where are you headed out to next? Where are we headed to? I'm, Amarillo. Oh, you going way north Texas. Ain't much out there. Yeah, I'm just going there for a bag. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Oh, wait, right here. There's another one I saw on y'all's site I wanted. And then the purple ones, no? Slide on the purple. They slide on nothing but this one, though. That's some Jimmy Hendrix right there, man. Yeah, trippy. What do you think about the sweatpants? Love the sweatpants. Comfy. I was looking at it's those. a little bit more comfortable. Yeah, I was looking at those. Sweatpants are extra large. Hello. <laughs> black and yellow, black and yellow. <laughs> How was 5 a.m. last night? Man, it was a blast. It was good? Yeah, yeah, that's my boy Remy's spot, man. So he always brings a lot of talent through, and typically he's very successful at everything that he touches. So as a matter of fact, uh, last February, if you don't know, 36 Mafia, Project Pat, my favorite. I uh, got all those albums. But I brought Project Pat for my birthday. I paid for him to come to down. To Yes, because he's one of my favorites as yeah. well. And so when I was able to get a that's hold of him. perfect for him. And he came down. I got to meet him and everything. So we've been talking and whatnot. And I'm trying to get involved with uh, the prison reform stuff that he does yeah. over there in Tennessee yeah, and everywhere yeah. else as well. Because yeah. I did three years in the pen. And so I know that what it's like as far as like recidivism rate and to mm -hmm. not go back in. Mm -hmm. And I know how you guys held him down. Yeah. Whenever he was in there, you made all the little mixtapes and everything for him whenever he's locked up to try to like no, he keep not his name alive. Album. Pat was bringing out whole double platinum albums in prison. But then you also <laughs> did the, uh, that one though. With, uh, he's killing it. I forgot which one it was that you guys did when he was locked up. And he was, it was we did like album. two when he was locked up. I think he was locked up for Mr. Don't Play. Yeah, well, he had dropped it and then got locked up. And that's why he, yeah. he was, that's why you see on the album, he was a little bit bigger. And then when he got out, he was a little bit smaller because yeah. he stopped drinking and everything because he had been locked up and whatnot. But when he got out, um, the record label gave us um, our first trip, uh, just like a free vacation for, you know, Pat coming home. They gave all of us a, a free trip to uh, uh, Vegas. That's the first time I went to Vegas. And we uh, got on the tour bus, all three since Mafia, Pat, LaChat. I can't everybody. even imagine. Okay. I can't even imagine how crazy Vegas. that shit was. It, it blew my mind. I came back and bought a house. <laughs> I still got it. Man. I ain't gonna lie. I woke up this morning and put on weak ass bitch. Yeah, That's how I started my day. You should've been wife, at the show last night performing. Wife wasn't even awake yet, but I just <laughs> I put on turned, I just turned up. This is the private selection. Uh, one of the things we take pride in is we own every shoe. We're not consignment, so every shoe is bought before it's sold. 
and these are going to be more of the higher ends and then we're also known as the early bird boys so we get shoes in before the rest of the world and then we showcase them and break the internet so to the of, world a lot of times when you're scrolling ig and you're like first look at the new blah 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 like that's typically us you'll probably see that little logo underneath your little feet watermark they're shooting in here see the watermark yeah, but yeah i saw everybody up. taking pictures in here <laughs> did 42 doug come over here? yes yeah, yeah that was yeah. a Look at this dude. That was a character for sure. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't know who he was because he had all his stuff hidden in the, he had the Pooh Shiesty mask on. <laughs> and then once the door closed, he took everything off and started wilding out. Got some Michael, Michael Jackson joints right here, dog. Yes. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> oh, man. Are you looking for anything in shoes, particularly? Oh, no, I got a, I got a ton of shoes. I'm more just like on clothes right now. Also, I just remembered it was the pe the appeal is the the product. That, appeal, yeah. that was, that was the big set. That was the one. I got so many shoes in my house. I'm starting to just give away shoes because yeah. I don't have no room to put them. Exactly. Yeah. I, guess. I bought these little things from uh, CVS where you can stack them where you put yeah. one in there and one on the top the little yeah, ramp yeah, looking little thing yeah. just to make a little room to, then i recently started getting a little boxes to put them in I need yeah, that the to keep containers, getting done. Yeah, yeah. yeah the containers yeah. Is, that's literally the key to it bro yeah you gotta do it keep the organization in, it becomes a rotation because i find myself now it's like i have this stuff in these boxes and then those are like the ones that i'm wearing a lot and then as those rotate now i put those back in the boxes put it back in the closet and now i'm put all my wearables usually yeah. go in the crates like that i feel like the hardest part of my day is figuring out what shoe to wear honestly just kind of i go in my closet and i'm just kind of staring at everything yeah right. you start your fit with the shoe or do you pick out your fit and then put the shoe on to the fit you want to hit a shoe? yeah i basically out of all the shoes i got i probably wear the same shoe every day gotcha like three comfortable ones that i wear like <laughs> almost every day except if i'm going somewhere yeah like if i'm going to okay, oh yeah you gotta pull some shit out yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull some shit out. but just on a day-to-day like I got my, my regular go-to comfortable slip-ons I just throw on there. And All white Air Forces yeah. is mine, man. I just, I literally, will, I'll go in the back like every like 10, 12 days and I'll just grab a new one and I'll get with the old one to any of these guys and then put the new one on, wear it about four or five times and then give it off to the employee. I was in the studio producing a song for uh, Duke Deuce about a month ago. He loves Duke Deuce. And he was doing a... Um, a sponsorship for Adidas, and they gave me these unreleased Adidas that I've been wearing here lately. They really come. Adidas are easy Adidas. Or no, they, they Adidas regular Adidas, Adidas. Okay. but but they got that kind of like look to them, yeah. kind of yeah. feel to them. But they got the stripes on. I've been wearing those a lot. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Adidas is uh, the Yeezys are some of the most comfortable shoes that we uh, that I've ever worn. Yeah, they are. The Audi phone. And even like yeah, uh, with all that stuff going on with Kanye, like a lot of people buy the shoes because they're comfortable. Yeah, they come. So whenever that stuff happened with Kanye, they all came running in here to buy him because they want all the comfortable shoes if they're gonna take them away because of the deal that they had being terminated and whatnot, so. All that shit going on in the press, man, I don't give a fuck about that. I want a comfortable shoe. Yeah. <laughs> and, and especially when you really move around and you travel, bro. You're Ian, bro, he's a boy, throw on that? foam runners. Runner. He usually has the foam runners on. I don't know <laughs> yeah. if you've ever worn those before. It's comfortable. What is it? The, the foam, foam runners. runners. It's almost like, like a, almost like a slide, but it's more like a Crocs slide in between. Like if you're traveling a lot, oh, I've been seeing these those. These is what you need. If you're in and out of the airport and you're tired of undoing your shoes all the time, yeah, that's TSA and all that, yeah, like, bro, slide these on, you're done. Go. Yeah, give me some of this. <laughs> <laughs> I got one shoe. Got one shoe. <laughs> shoe. So, Paul, I saw your Spotify drop for the year. Uh, what was it? 86 million. Yeah, bro, that's crazy. Million. Yeah, and so, good. how does that feel considering? It's good, man. 32 what? years in the game, and exactly. I can still almost knock out 100. Let's do one bigger than us. Okay. Um, so. You guys can create music decades ago and still till this day, it's relatable in music and in the, in the ad libs and all the intros and everything is still used in music. It's more speak. popular now than it was when we made it. Because of the, well, the, not only the, that, the viral, the people, TikTok But people stuff. weren't into that like crump music like that. No. Y'all, I feel like you guys created that genre. We and did. then later on, you know, other people John, like Lil Jon and all capitalized yeah. on it and now at Duke the right was, time. Duke, Duke was letting you know now, yeah. Crunk, Crunk ain't dead. <laughs> yeah, Crunk ain't like. dead, but that whole, <laughs> man. is good. That one was better? Yeah. Cozy yeah. as fuck, right? Yeah, they feel good. Right, yeah, that's, that's the, that's that's the, the, that's the move, right there, bro. bro. You don't fall in love with those, yeah. watch. Yeah. <laughs> These y'all look crazy as hell. It does, but they're cozy, boy. They look like a predator. Yeah, like little alien shoes.
Good. Yeah, they're perfect for traveling though. Who make those? Uh, that's easy. That's easy. I, yeah, I thought that. Yeah. I remember when they first came out, I went on the site to try to get them, but they were sold out fast as hell. It's still selling out, even with all the stuff in the media. Some people just don't because care. Because again, everybody knows that's the travel shoe. That's, that's the, comfort the comfortability, one. man. Man, look, the crazy of that shit get the more these motherfuckers gonna be worth. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about they it. keep all this shit. This shit gonna be worth a million dollars one day. <laughs> Man, these folks up here cutting up these shoes and burning these shoes. He pulls out that goddamn man. Wild, wild. Ain't no way in the hell I'm gonna pay a thousand dollars for some shoes well, and look, cut them they up. Can, they can, they can burn the triple S's, Balenciagas, because them, those are ugly shoes to me and they're very uncomfortable. Triple these, S's, man. Yes, bro. I know. Nah, nah, you, I didn't fuck with those. Heavy. It's like wearing ankle weights. Nah, I didn't fuck with those. Yeah, they can burn all those hoes. I don't even Mama. care. Nah, I didn't fuck with those. Aside from having every album you guys have ever dropped and. Driving around at 19, selling hella drugs, listening to 36 Mafia before I went to prison. I have a few things in my closet that I had to go out and pull that I was right. wondering if you could please sign these for me. I already signed it. You don't see it right I want, now? I need, I need a real signature. I need a real signature. I do see that signature. But I, need a, I need another one. Yeah, of course. This shirt's been through a lot, man. You sign it wherever man, you want. Man, they charge so much for these fucking shirts. Oh, yeah, I know. I, did, I just bought one for 400 the purple version. Yeah, that's hard. And then this one you don't ever see because it's extremely hard to find in this colorway, but the Hypnotized Minds one. Yeah, I'll tell you a funny story about this one. So uh, I was going with uh, X of mine to, um, to Georgia for Christmas to hang out with her family. Okay. And I was like, uh, we was flying from L.A. And I was like, fuck, I didn't bring no gifts for her. I didn't get no gifts for her kids. So I'm like, let me just grab some shit. I went in my closet. I got this one closet that's all like memorabilia shit. Right. And I went in there and I grabbed that, that Supreme shirt, that hard to find one. And I, I, I had like three of them. I'm like, oh, fuck, I give him one of these. I know he likes Supreme. You know, he's like 17 year old kid. Man, I fucking gave him that shit. He said, holy shit. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, this is the one they selling for 5,000. I was like, what? I'm like, give, me, give me that back. <laughs> I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> now, even like the, the, the BOGO stickers in purple, because they've never done that color alone. Those sell for like 50 to 100 bucks for the sticker. Like, wow. it's ridiculous. <laughs> and then the colorways matter too. So, purple, drink, things of that matter, being from the South and whatever, the purple colorways for y'all are the, the ones one. that Those sell the, the ones most. That, yeah. wow. Just because of the color and then who you guys are tied to it. So, man, I really do appreciate this. Yeah, no problem, my man. Now, if I can get juicy on the other side, bro, <laughs> we'd be in there. Yeah, he'll be down here at some point. Shit, we was just down here, what, two months ago in Fort Worth? And I, we, and I feel like we heard about that. I went to the So What music festival and he was at and I tried to like get in contact with him, yeah. but it was just, he was moving with the whole unit and it's one of those yeah. things where it's like, if I'm not formally introduced, I'm not even gonna try to like yeah. weasel my way in. I just don't yeah. do that kind of stuff. But yeah. man, hope you know, he'll, he'll love to come in here though. Y'all got some you dope built shit. built a relationship. He brought Pat down for his yeah, birthday. Yeah, I was telling him I yeah, paid for Pat last to come year, down so here. It's so. Like, but so that's how you gotta understand, man. Our generation, we really grew up on this shit, bro. We gotta Thank give you man. flowers, bro. All fucking really day, bro. Uh, uh, yeah, all a product day, of the <laughs> culture that you guys created. Yeah, he been naming everything. Yeah, for real. Because he still to this day, he got you know the little CD cases, bro. Every I got everything. But no, it even goes back to like Frazier Boy, Chromio, Doubt Me Now, Lil Y. Like it goes the whole all the single albums y'all did, plus the Prophet Posse, y'all, the group out, like everything, bro. Prophet Posse was a shit. The best part is when you get the album, you know there's a Posse song on there that's like six minutes long. There's like 12 people on there, and everybody's just eating, bro. It's just like those are the one of my favorites of the Prophet Posse songs, bro. They go the hardest. Just everything. You saw all the Valabasas you need? What is this? Supreme Mac, you want one? You uh, got kids? Yeah, I do actually. <laughs> what? We'll throw it in on the house. I'll take it. I'm gonna okay. eat this myself though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you got all the Valabasas we have in the store, the phone runners, and then is this somebody else? That's not mine. It's not yours? Oh, and then the there. reference house. Oh, yeah, it's pretty yeah. mere man's over here. Okay. okay. Cool, we'll throw it in. Moving to Dallas, man. Yeah, what? gotta get a spot out here. You serious? Bro. I need to. This is a listen. Yeah, hey, I almost did it in 2010. Listen, Paul, this is a low key honey hole right here. There's so much money to be made here. I know. It's untapped. Yeah, I got a lot of billionaires too. I did my research. Yeah, man. He said I did my research. A lot of money to be made in Dallas, man. It's a, strategically, it's not a, it's a good spot to have a little spot. Yeah. yeah. All right, man. This is a big deal for me. It was a pleasure meeting you. I met you a long time ago at our old spot, but it's just real brief. 
I appreciate you coming out here, spending some time with us, telling me some stories and everything like that, man. Yeah. Paul, it was a blessing. Thank you, brother. Thank you, yes, bro. Thank, Thank you. you, man. Thank y'all for having me, man. The story is beautiful, man. Keep up the good work. Love seeing brothers doing some positive things. Yes. No more prison. No yeah. more prison. <laughs> no more. We're trying to keep them out of prison now. Yeah. There we go, man. My for you. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and Twitter at DJ Paul KOM, King of Memphis. Facebook, DJ Paul KOM Official. My YouTube, DJ Paul KOM TV. It's going down, my for you.